Welcome back everyone for the next part of Etrian Odyssey 5. In the last part we pretty much finished off the 6th floor, but we aren't quite done yet. There's still a little room to the right of us, so uh, before we head over to the 7th huh? floor, let's quickly check out what, the, what is happening around here, shall we? To the left of us, of course. As you make your way through the Stratum's unending stretch of barren rocks, you come upon a dead end down a small path. Something bright, uh, I mean, something brings Richter to a halt. Richter tells you that he can sense some kind of mana in the area. A cursor search doesn't yield anything of interest, however. Do you believe Richter? You decided there's nothing of value here and instead continue on your way. What's that supposed to mean? If Richter is able to tell this something, then there has to be something. I'm just going to put down some uh, some question marks. And leave it at that, shall we? It's not like they really tell us anything else beside of that. Maybe it's related to some kind of quest. For later at least. Ah, the mold thing. Freeze. Stifling miasma. Target arrow. Uh, ice. Hunter shot. How's this? I got this. Tack. Not bad. Take this. Those enemies around here are really, really strong. Okay, next up, I'm just gonna slash him. You can trash about lightning and. Yeah, I guess we should probably heal Danny. How's this? He might die from the next hit. Ready? Disappear. Yep. Last Those blue one. cats are out for blood. Clearly. Yeah. Victory's mine. They're always out for blood. Every single time. So is there anything else of interest around here? Doesn't really look like it. Nope. That would be all then. Okay, so uh, how about we check out the seventh floor then? Beware of the stampedes. Uh huh. Sure. So, any shortcuts inside? I don't see anything yet. The oh, wait, there are. To the left of us, or rather, the right of us, and right about there. What is this? Giraffe? Uh... Let's, uh, let's be careful about this, shall we? So it is stunned. And it's not really, um... Rushing towards me. So it's not like the rhinos from Etrian Odyssey uh, 2. So it came from here, right? Turns to the left over there, which means it's probably going to run under here. Yeah. Okay. So basically, he's patrolling some kind of circle. And nothing else. Okay. Well, they don't seem to be that threatening. Volt Squirrel. Uh, I think Volt was ice, right? <laughs> I, I think uh, if, if uh, something is Volt, then they are weak to ice. Maybe I'm lucky and get the head binds. Would be nice. Not quick enough. Oh my god, that thing is fast. Take this. Take that. Later. Still alive. Everything beside of the head. Are you kidding me? Okay, bless it. Give it a whirl. So all the birds are around. Stifling the asthma, just to make sure. Let's go for the head again and wing trash the back. Go now. Take this. Hold on. 
Okay, now it is gone. So I should probably also start feeding up my MP again. Yes, really low already. Uh, slash this guy. Trash about. You can use lightning and just shoot the right guy. If I spread the damage, it should be barely enough to finish them all. Or not, okay. Then we're just going to kill off the left guy first. My turn. Actually, I'll continue I'll this. Another lightning and another shot. Brace yourself. Still alive. Take this. Holy hell! Last one. Okay, now we can just out it down, right? That was easy. Those turkeys. Their defense buff is quite strong. Uh, there's another one. Seems like it also crashed something, so there's a wall over here. Turn to the right, which means somewhere here he's gonna run up. Right? There is a hole right in front of us. Did it crash in here? Or is it? Ah, there's another one on the other side. Okay. I guess uh, this whole floor is about those uh, giraffe things, right? I guess it's one tile lower. And here's a wall. Huh. And Something's in the there. event, hide hidden in the dead corner. Let's see. Well, trekking across uneven rocky roads, you come across a large rotten tree. From this far, it doesn't seem like it has much use to you. You could ignore it and continue on. Or you could check it out. It's a rotten tree. What would I want from a rotten tree? Uh, uh, I'm just gonna check it out. You get the feeling there's something inside that tree and peck into the rotten bark. You find an enormous insect lurking within. Why would I want to have that? The black pearl shell, an impressive horn, tells you it's a rhinoceros beetle, a popular species among the citizens. Dilettante. You are also realizing that the rhinoceros beetle, this big, would fetch a nice price. You consider how you how to go about capturing it. I mean I could just uh, bait it with sugar. You slowly and quietly take out the empty bag, dissolve sugar and water, and coat the inside of the bag with the mixture. When you extend the bag towards the beetle, it leaps inside just like you planned. With the rhinoceros beetle secured in the back, you can quickly tie it close. You take a moment to celebrate your great feat, or rather, your great fight, and you transfer the beetle to a handmade cage. Then continue on your way. Okay. Why do I have uh, a beetle now? <laughs> Wait, let's see. M? Emperor. It's beetle. Like this. It looks like an important item. You chance upon a rare rhinoceros beetle and successfully manage to capture the buck. But why though? <laughs> why why did I keep the beetle? Huh. Anyways, there are more holes around. Something like an L shape. And I'm just gonna turn left from over there and down from over there. There's an opening right over. Wait, it's not there. Guess here. It should be here. Is there any other openings around? No. Okay. How do I do this? Should I follow it? I mean, I could just... Yeah, I could just follow it. 
Okay, never mind. I cannot follow it. It's way too fast. But at least I'm able to get through here. So, then we have a corner going to the right. And probably another event waiting for us down here. Ah, the squirrel. Okay, optic blast. Slash about. Get the head. Electric. And the shots. Focusing all my strength. How's this? Didn't get the head. And it was just as strong as I thought it would be. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I know you're weak to shocking. Slash about. You still try to go for the head. I'm gonna spark him up twice. How's this? Should be this enough to deal with that thing. Our final foe. And if I were to do this with Twitch Weakness, fire. If I were to do this and resurrect my little daddy, we should still get some experience. I win. Great. I really need to put more points into my fire skill. It's slowly uh, catching up with my other skills, but still. Let me see. Yeah, one more point and then I can do something else. Before I am, the tippy cost jumps uh, a little bit too much. I I, tri I still try to level up my skills and at the same time keep the cost low. <laughs> you know, there are other skills that I can max that don't uh, increase the TP rate like uh, Mastery and Amplifier. Amplifier is actually really important for me. Especially the turn effect. I need to get that as high as possible. But first of all, Nia, he loves Danny. Bunch. Thanks a bunch. So is there anything What's over that? here? Another event. As you venture into the rocky area with multiple boulders stacked atop one another, you sense the presence of a beast nearby and stop. Glancing down, you notice countless footprints left by small animals, as if it had stomped around it in circle. If you have someone who excels at hunting, I, I don't have that. I guess uh, this is another meat spot, huh? Sure. I guess uh, I should probably give somebody a hunting ability, but at the same time, I could just uh, grab meat that later with, uh, with my little farmer squad. Going up from there. Are there two of them? Um, let's be careful about this. So I see holes. <sighs> Another hole. Treasure around two tiles ahead. Wall all the way. And what is this? It. As you travel the barren mountain pass, you spot familiar fruit stacked up in a pile at the dead end. You've come across them many times already. They are moon apple. They are stacked up like a mountain and you check around, but you don't see anyone nearby. You can reach out and take some of the apples, or you can wait for the owner to show up. I think I don't really want to steal, so I'm just going to wait. As you watch the pile of apple and wait, you eventually hear a voice approaching. You turn around to see who it is. Ah! Uh, Conrad, right? You find an adventurer smiling and pointing to the mountain of apple. They tell you that they are the ones who have been gathering them. It would please Free Blade Guild if adventurers such as yourself make use of these apple. They say, handing you some. Would they have attacked me if I rushed just to grab all the apples? Or maybe caught me right-handed? I have too many things. Uh, I guess I don't need all those apples. Yeah, let's throw five away. The adventurer can tell you are caught off guard by the generosity. Don't worry about it, they say while shaking their heads. Just pay it for... Uh, pay it forward to another adventurer in need sometimes. Mm-hmm, sure. You tuck away the apple and thank the adventurer, then continue on your way. Uh, I, I literally just threw away the half of it, but sure. 
I, I, I tacked it along. <laughs> I totally tacked it along. So what can I do from here? There's a wall. If I go there, they're gonna rush me down. And there's a hole to the left of me. Another hole right over there. Wall. Entrance. If I go here... And then I can just simply go over to the treasure chest and grab it. Ah! Oh. Well, uh, that, that was easy. <laughs> that, uh, that was super easy in comparison to other chests. Those are some evil looking gels. Normally they they just blobs. But those guys, they uh, they look kind of creepy. Okay, uh Fire maybe? I could also try the paralysis. Just shoot. Fireball shoot. Get a load of this. Fire seems to be fine. <sighs> Okay. Uh, fire the red guy, slash the left guy. Fix fireball the right guy, and do the same. Should be enough to switch the hits. Okay, it was enough. But dear god, they hit a lot in this stratum. I still didn't really find something that could upgrade my armor by a lot, Thanks so a bunch. Uh, it's a bit troublesome. So it's gonna turn, brush. I don't really like the look of this. Turn, brush, turn. No, wait. Turn, rush, wait, turn, rush. So I still have a few turns before the dash again. But that is good to know. This is safe. There's another hole right over there. They turn over there and go to the right side. So where's the hole that I'm supposed to find? Over there, okay. Then I go here. Pause. Turn. Out of the way. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just going to get uh, the shortcut really quickly and uh, maybe get the, the encounter also on this side just to make sure that I don't die from this. Also, I could just cancel it out completely if I just touch the stairs. Go back up. And, uh, yeah. Zero percent. Much better, right? Much, much better. Phew, let's see. <laughs> this is gonna be a big area from the looks of it. So there's a way to the left and a way to the right. Left one is something. Um, as you continue on, you stop and you notice someone approaching. You recognize Lily! Oh my god, Lily! An necromancer you met several times on the first random. How's it going? Well, hello there! <laughs> Lily sees you as well and greets you with her, with her usual cheer. You return the greeting after Lily say, uh, says, That reminds me. You started your own guild, right? I just realized I never asked for the name. <laughs> what is the, that information doesn't come free. Why would I say that to the little girl who helped me out so often? They gave, she gave me free items after all. Asperia, huh? That's a great name. Lily gave you a once over. Yeah, you've definitely gotten stronger since the last time we met. Here you go! I would like to celebrate seeing you all again with a little gift. Fix up. Meet. Uh, thanks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out. Uh, wait, let me see. Uh, where's my, 
I'm not gonna use honey fruit. Maybe, uh... I'm gonna throw out another piece of meat for your meat. You accepted the material, but asked if she is sure about it. Of course, she said with a smile and nods. <laughs> you get something you need, and I get the joy of giving you something. Now that is what I call hugging two birds with one arm. Lily beams at you brightly, then adjusts her backpack. Oh, no. Well, I better get going. Things might get tough out there. So good luck. See you later. The liquid matcha gives you a wave as she leaves. You watch her go, then continue on your way with renewed spirits. She is such a nice girl, right? But I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go, so uh, let's check out the other way as well. Just dead end. Ah, turkey! Why the turkeys? I shall take the vanguard. I should probably heal though. So wait, weakness fire, right? Let's weaken them a bit. Uh, hawk arrow, fireball. Just shoot him down. I need to preserve some MP with him. Actually, it might be better if I return. I don't about think it. so. Hold on. Hey. Yeah, it might be better if I return. Ah, the turkey. The turkey. Okay, uh, turkey, you like all types of elements. Never mind, it's fire. Uh, in that case, trash about. Fire around. Shoot the left guy. The defense skill. All about the defense skill. I yeah, should probably focus on the left guy first. Shoot about. This is it. Okay. Time to end this. I still have enough MP to just use Flame Chase again. Richter still is fine. I'm just gonna shoot again. Yep. There I we won. go. I really need to use more of my chase skills. I have huh. so much TP and Something's I almost there. never use it. Most of the time it's always Richter, Nia and Loki who are running out of MP. And actually Danny as well if I debuff the enemies way too often. Anyways, as you wander through the labyrinth, you discover some golden fruit. It's uh, a moon apple. Great. Apple? Uh, we don't really need it. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to do this. There we go. Let's just, uh, let's just go on our way. But seriously, I should probably retreat for a second. Yeah. Better safe than sorry, right? Better safe than sorry. And you know what? Since I'm already here and I have a quest to report, Monster Logi 101! <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you. those feline ears. I, I really need to get rid of them before I sell them by accident. Looks like you found what MOI requested. Nice! Yep, all there. I will make sure I, it will get to them. Well, now that it, that is done, you deserve a reward. <laughs> Here you go. Well done. Keep it up. Thanks! Really need those items. Not right now, but maybe later. What'll it be? And since I did touch the next floor... Which would were... you like to tackle? Oh yeah. Four quests. In one go? From one floor? Okay. Uh, prepare for more adventures. This one? Sure. That's a request from Skyrick, the merchant. Remember the last one you took from him? Yeah. Ah! It was something about the gun, if I remember right. Good. It's the same deal as last time. He wants you to go into the labyrinth and gather up some materials for him. Talk to him at the shop to learn which one. Okay. Which would you like to tackle? Uh, the big bad beast. This request comes from a rowdy man and calls for the extermination of a diet beast on the seventh floor. This one? Okay. You accept this one. Thanks to Great Tree. The client keeps pestering me about it. As for the details? Well, maybe you should talk to the rowdy man who made the request. What'll it be? Sure. 
But first, Jeanette's true feelings. This one? Uh-huh. You're not taking on that request. <laughs> I'm glad you see you're working so hard as usual, but the one who's, who was sending in... The, uh, oh my god. That one was sent in by Jeanette, the innkeeper. Let's see, the details are... Oh goodness, that silly girl. Well, it seems Jeanette is curious about a guest who currently stays at her inn. Hmm. Yeah, I, s I assume she is romantically curious. Well, that is a surprise. Indeed, it would appear that she's interested in a boy after all. I never would have guessed. She's a little different. So I simply assumed that she had no stake in matters of the heart. Well, <laughs> never mind that. You will need to talk to Jeanette herself for more details. Three quests Which would you like to three tackle? times need to talk to somebody else. Holy moly. Lately some raging mole have been harassing us. No, thank What'll you. What will it be? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna deal with moles. No. Sorry. Nah. Maybe later. But no, no, no. Ne Never. I don't I don't even wanna see any moles in my current encounter rates, okay? Maybe if I get a little bit stronger I might do this, but not right now. Nah. I'm not gonna hunt down twelve moles. Never. <laughs> Never ever. <laughs> Damn that mongrel! We were so close. Uh with what? What did you best at once? Can't you see I'm busy? Huh? Oh, you took my request. Well, well then, um, forgive my outburst. What I need you to do is to slay the evil beast that ruined my pla- I mean, injured my sla- Um, hurt my wonderful workers. Yes, that is. Ruined your plan, injured your slave. What? The mongrel caught us off guard after we captured it. I, I mean, uh, it came out of nowhere and attacked us. We didn't do it any any harm, but it's just a mindless beast after all. Even thinking about it make my, makes my blood boil. Anyhow, the disgusting beast is lurking on the seventh floor right here. Ah. Well, that is really close to the spot where we are supposed to head. Okay. Uh, it should be no problem for adventurers like you, right? Uh huh? What'll it be? That guy is super sketchy. We're counting on you. What kind of plan? What kind of slave? And what did you do to that poor thing? If you're so angry about it. Hey ya! Oh boy, you're here for the request, right? Thank goodness, I was hoping it would be you. I wanna craft a new resin target. And to make this thing, I need three thick sets. Remember to sell those materials directly to me once you find them. Well, I'm counting on you. Didn't I already saw Anything else? one of them? Pleasure doing business. Huh, weird. Uh, internet. Hiya! Heya! Oh, it's my dear guest! Welcome! Oh, are you here for my request? Hey! I'm so happy you took the job! What a relief. I was worried I would have to bear my heart to a total stranger. Speaking of, so, uh, about this request. <sighs> you see, I've been curious about this guest who's been staying here for a few days. He's so smart and handsome. I'm starting to wish that he would stay here at my inn forever. But you know the ancient Terrian proverb. Yori wasn't built in a day. If I want to win his affection, I'm, I'm gonna have to earn them. That's why I'm gonna make him my present. <laughs> And this is where you come in. I need you to head up to the labyrinth to get ingredients. Don't I already have that? I want meat and forest wheat. Sorry to bother you like this, but I'm counting on you. Then I already have that? Hmm, have you heard about the monster in the second stratum called the impending Tengu? When it is in danger, it uses other monsters to shield itself. Just like my older sister. Whenever she was about to get in trouble, she blamed it on me and then ran away. Huh? Could it be that my big sister is a Tengu? No, 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 that's totally impossible. I mean, her nose isn't that long. How can I be of service? Jeanette, 
Jeanette, I, I have to beat. I, I have to beat Jeanette. Welcome. I have to beat again. and the beat. Okay? Should I just Welcome. report it? Which will it be? So you're no. abandoning this? What will it be? Don't they have the beat and the beat? Let me see this. I didn't throw it away. I think. Oh god, I threw it away. Never mind. Uh, Jeanette, give me a second. Come again. I'm, I'm right back. I'm right back, my girl. I've got you. So, here Hi we go. Oh, those must be the thing I asked for. I'm impressed you got them all so quickly. Hmm. Wondering what I was, uh, I'm gonna make with this stuff? <laughs> One second. Okay. Ta-da! This is the present that I... That will win over the heart of my guest. Okay then, no time like the present. I will call him down and give it to him. Oh, Mr. Friedrich! There he comes, my beloved Friedrich! Um, excuse me, Mr. Friedrich. Please accept this token of my feelings for you. <laughs> and if it is alright with you, would you please live with me in my inn forever? I can't believe it! I, I actually said it! So, uh, uh, what, what, what do you say, Mr. Friedrich? Where is he? Hello? Oh, come on. <laughs> Meow. Yay! He, he said yes! Yay! We are family now, Mr. Friedrich! Yes? Yes? What do you mean? <laughs> Where's that smart and handsome guest? He's right here, silly! But he's a cat. Of course he is. Anyone can tell that Friedrich is feline. Human customers aren't my only guest. I let stray cats wander into the inn, too. The only difference is that I don't ask for any payment from kittens. Oh, but I do feed them. What's with that look you're giving me? Wait, you want to know what the present was all about? Well, he's eating it right now. That's right. It's dry cat food. I grinded the for I grinded the forest meat into a pasta, added some meat, and then cooked it over the fire. <laughs> Every kitten that eats my special recipe ends up staying in our inn forever. I would love. Uh, I have won the hearts of over twenty cats that way. Hey, why the long face? You look like you got sent on a wild goose chase. But this was more of a wild cat chase, huh? <laughs> I will leave you with, it, uh, with an old Terrian proverb. A cat has nine lives. For three he plays, for three he strays, and for the last three he stays. I hope Friedrich stays for nine. Aww, that's kind of fitting for Have a cat. A nice day. Still, if that was Welcome. a human, that would have been a little Which bit more precious. Be? But well, at least I can for nectars for Thank that. Thank you. Right? For So, you finished your next request. Well done. Still, I never would have guessed that this, uh... Guest she was fawning over was a cat. When I heard about this Friedrich, I couldn't help but do a double take. She truly is a character, that Jeanette. Regardless, I always, I'm always happy to see you successfully complete a well request. Done. Time for your reward. Here you go. Good job as always, and thank you. You are welcome. But really too bad, I would have loved to see uh, Jeanette fall in love. Be? Maybe, We're counting maybe on we you. could plan another wedding. Like uh, like the bracelet, the promise bracelet that we created with the sun and the moonstone. Welcome. On the... Was it the second or was it the third? I think it was the third floor, right? Anyways, I'm just going to Come back soon. I went here. I'm just going to store a few nectars and then we are back to the seventh floor. So, and we are back. So now the question is, should I go left or should I go right? Our quest is to the right and from the looks of it, I don't really have that much time left for this part. So uh, how about... We try to complete the quest before I run out of time, shall we? 
Which, uh... Oh my god! What did I do? <laughs> Why did I do this? Why? <laughs> okay, that scared the living heck out of me. <laughs> oh no! Uh, can I... Yeah, I, I, I have a... I have a full retreat. Okay, everything's alright. We can escape. That was just stupid. I, I, I shouldn't have just drawn the map. I was looking down. Oh my god. Thank goodness for full retreat, right? Thank goodness for full retreat. Holy hell. So we're safe. Turns up from here. Maybe, maybe, just, just maybe I should, I should probably color this somehow. Maybe pink? Pink would, would be alright. And then I'm also gonna color everything of this. Everything over here. Uh, and this one of course as well. Uh, just uh, so that I don't accidentally run into those areas again. Should look something like this at least. So he hits a ball right over there, which means he's gonna turn right from here. This is save. Uh, he's turning left from over there, which means up from here, right from there, down from there, and left. From here, which means the circle looks something like this. Wall is here, two tiles, then it goes in. Uh, there aren't any holes from the looks of it, so this is safe. This is also this is not safe. Holy hell! He could have rushed into me again. <laughs> uh. Wait, he is going to rush like this. Yeah, he's going to rush like this. This stays the same. But it also means this is not safe. Anything else you need to watch out for? Uh, there's an opening over here. Corner. Hole! Out of here! <laughs> oh yeah! Okay, flame chase. We are going to slash. Maybe, just maybe, I have a chance to get the head for once. If not, at least give me the arms. Maybe it can weaken the, the squirrel a bit. I didn't get the arms. Ready? Uh, at least he died. Right? At least he died. So you guys love fire as well. So a uh, trash about flame and another hit for the left guy. Oh god. Alright, alright. He's uh he's always already staggering. Fire the right guy, slash the left guy. You can hit normally. I'm gonna use fireball to the right and an uh, arrow to the right as well. Now the slash and the fireball should be enough to finish those guys off. Okay. Uh yeah, let's let's stay away from this room from here on out. There's another hole in front of us. Goes to the left side. Uh, no. Goes to the left side, probably is connected like this. And am I ready? I should probably heal at least once before I head over there. I am in your debt. After all, thanks a bunch. There's supposed to be a beast when you fall over there, right? Huh? So let's see. What kind of beast got in the way of his plan? When you arrive at a location indicated to you at the tavern, you find a large wolf? It doesn't appear to be moving, however. He was hunting down a wolf? The wolf is covered in dirt. 
and while there is no sign of any bleeding, it is clearly wounded. The wolf isn't simply injured, it is dying! You came here to kill it, but it wouldn't be long before the wolf does on its own. You take a look around the, and the wolf and notice something. The wound engraved across the wolf looks like the mark left by Whip. You also notice its hind legs are bound tightly with a rope. This is obviously the work of a human hand. Clearly someone caught this wolf and tried to drag it back to Yori forcefully. And when it, and when it resisted, whoever captured it got harmed in the progress and then made the request. It all adds up. Now that you've seen things for how they really are, you need to decide what to do next. Of course I'm gonna treat the wound. There's no way to know if this is the right thing to do. Of course it's the right thing to do! But ignoring the wolf feels wrong, so you decided to treat its wound. Nier steps forward and slowly approaches the wolf, because Nier is an expert. A robot can't ignore the bone deep desire to help a wolf. You watch as Nier kneels, kneels in front of the wolf. The wolf twitched and <laughs> twitched when touched, but looks up at Nier without struggling. Relieved, Nier begins tending to the wolf's wound. Aww. After a while, Nier waved at you. You take, that me uh, you take that to mean the wolf's wounds were treated without issues. You are just about to, to sign with release when you sense a malice presence creeping towards you from behind. Do I need to protect the wolf now? You turn around to find another wolf. This one much smaller. Maybe it's the injured wolf's pup? With all the humans surrounding their injured parents, it is no wonder it seems hostile. You begin to panic. Okay. While you're busy trying to come up with a solution, the injured wolf placed itself between you and the pup. It shirks its head towards the pup, as if telling it to follow, then slowly begins to pad away from the area. The pup seems momentarily confused, but darts off to catch up with their parents, leaning close for support. The family of wolves wandered out into the red rocks of the canyon, and eventually disappeared into the distance. The mark. Uh, that marks the end of the request. Report back to the person who made the request to fill them in. You mean to kick their butt for treating a dog like this? I think you wanted to say that, game. You don't need to, to say it that like I'm gonna kick that ass butt. Not only does he treat slave like this, he treats animals as badly as them. Oh, dear lord. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys had fun with today's part. In the next part, we're going to finish off that guy in the tribune <laughs> and uh, the seventh floor. Well then, until next time!